Hello friends, I'm here today to talk to you about how to catch a float with the yarn that you're carrying on the back of your work when you're working with two separate yarns. So this is the technique that I teach in one of my classes on stranded or fair isle type knitting where you're working with one yarn in each hand. In this case, I've been working with the brown yarn in my right hand and the pale green yarn in my left hand. And you can see with this pattern repeat, there are three pale green stitches, two brown, three pale green, and then a set of five brown stitches. So for the three and the two, these are short enough segments that I wouldn't bother to catch a float behind any of these. You can simply carry them on the back, which you can see here that I've done. However, when I am working the five stitches in this DK weight yarn, five's about as many as you would want to have without catching a float. And I like to catch floats on this slightly larger gauge yarn um, about every four. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you how I catch the pale green yarn behind these five brown stitches and that'll look like it uh, shows right here. It's this little um, line of yarn that comes across the back. So when you're working with the yarn uh, that you're knitting with in your right hand and the yarn that is being carried across the back that you will need to float and catch your floats with in your left hand, here's what happens. I'm going to knit two stitches of brown, just like I normally would. Now when I get to this third stitch here, this is the stitch I wanna catch my floating yarn behind. So in order to work that in this direction, what I would do is I would insert the tip of my right hand needle into that stitch, and I will bring the yarn that I'm going to float up over the top in between the two needles. I'll then go ahead and make my normal knit stitch just like I always would and when I pull the stitch through I'm actually coming underneath both the float yarn and then through the loop of the yarn that I want to make the stitch into. I'm then going to knit two more stitches just like I normally would and I'm going to turn my work around so you can see the light green yarn has been caught right there. If I pull on the working yarn, you can see where it's living. So it's now caught, the float is caught behind those, that middle stitch there. So let me work a few more stitches on and repeat that so you can see how to work that again. So these are just my normal pattern stitches where I'm working with the pale green yarn in my left hand and I'm picking and the brown yarn in my right hand and I'm throwing. So I've worked that section where I'm just carrying floats like I normally would across the back. And now I'm going to work um, the float catch. So again, I've knit two stitches regularly. I'm gonna bring my right hand needle tip into the stitch I'm gonna knit and it's gonna come underneath the float yarn. And all I'm doing to do that is I'm holding this hand that has the float yarn on it slightly higher up. So I'm going into the stitch I'm going to knit, bringing the float yarn in between my left and right hand needles on top of the stitch I'm gonna knit into. Then I'm gonna scoop under both of those to make my knit stitch and knit the next two stitches. So that's the way to work when you're catching the float yarn um, in the back with your left hand being the hand that is controlling that yarn and your right hand being the yarn that is making the actual knit stitches, not the float stitches. So I'll be right back to show you the reverse of this where we're going to be knitting stitches with this and um, carrying the float with the brown yarn. Back in a few. Hello friends, I'm back to talk to you about working with two yarns where I'm stranding the uh, yarn that I'm carrying in my right hand 
across the back of the work while knitting the stitches with the yarn that's being carried in my left hand. And what I'm doing is I'm catching the brown stitch you'll see here. I caught that one there where the float disappears under this purl stitch and then reappears on this side. So this particular way of working where you're catching the float from the yarn that's in your right hand is slightly more complex than the uh, first video in which I showed you where we were stranding the yarn with your left hand, but it just takes a few times of practice and it will greatly help speed things up for you and keep your yarns nice and organized. So I'm going to be catching the brown yarn between the second and third yarn or stitches in this pale green. And let me show you how we do that. So I'm going to go ahead and knit the first two stitches of the pale green, just like I normally would. Nothing different with those. I just picked those two stitches. When I'm ready to catch this yarn, my brown yarn behind, I'm going to go ahead and insert the tip of my right hand needle into the stitch that I'm going to make. I'm going to bring the brown yarn that's being carried across the back back here around behind both needles so that it is laying on top of my working yarn there. I'm going to catch that with my left hand thumb and I'm going to make my pick stitch uh, with the light green right there onto my right hand needle. And then I'm going to take the brown yarn and bring it around to the back again. And then I'm going to knit my next stitch in green. So there are my four stitches in green. And you'll see if I turn over, the brown stitch is, or the brown thread is floated across, caught underneath this little green pearl bump, and then floats back out over here. So let me now work the next few brown stitches that are just regular knit stitches. Okay, and let me show you that float technique again. So I'm knitting the first two stitches just like I normally would do. I picked those off of my left hand uh, yarn onto the right hand needle. I'm gonna insert the right hand needle into the yarn uh, loop that's gonna make the stitch. I'm gonna come back around here. So you'll see, if I can show you that. The yarn, the brown yarn is sitting on top of my green yarn here. So this is the the strand that's going to be floated and this is the yarn that's going to make the stitch. So I will make the stitch here. I'm holding the brown yarn with my right hand just very loosely. I make that stitch. I'm going to swing the brown yarn around to the back and I'm going to knit the next stitch. Sorry about that. In green. So if I turn my work around, you'll see that stitch right there, that pale green is what has caught the brown yarn underneath it. If I pull that float up, you see it goes underneath that. And then I can just retention it that way. So those are the two methods for uh, catching your floats when you're working stranded knitting using two colors of yarn. I hope you found that helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.